Are you sure it's the right place? Yes, absolutely. I overheard that conversation. One said distinctly, the tavern of the dog that smokes it. Come. Fine oil for the nut trees of Antares. A bargain! See my finest quality lettuce direct from the lush gardens of Andromeda. The dog and sea. Come and see. Is jumping monkeys. Is that it rare? Just down there. You're absolutely sure? Yes, you bet. You bet. I know where it is. Don't worry. Ah, here we are. You have a reputation as a good informant, Clark, so we're going along with you on this. But it's a hard thing to believe all the same. I mean, mercenaries operating right here on Omega. I'm surprised. <laughs> Let's go, Metro. What's the matter? I'm always late. Stop all this dawdling. And for your information, young man, I am not dawdling. I am acquiring additional data, and I must say, your world is most curious and, alas, illogical. See what I mean? Hey, buddy, how about a drink for your old pal? I'm sorry. I think you need rewiring. This animal drink? Animal yourself, stupid. No, he doesn't drink, but I do. And I can outdrink anybody here. Look, over there, there's one of them. Hey, buddy, how about a drink? <laughs> Sorry. Hey! Over here. That's the other one over there. Can you tune in on what they're saying, Metro? I'm under the impression that's what I'm here for. Okay, creatures. All of them live in caves and dumb They hunt animals with no more than sticks and wood, villains. Looks to me like it's a pretty hairy scene. Savage. Yeah, and in all this, we're supposed to do what? First, you say we set up a base and reinforcements land. From then on, we'll conquer the planet. Yes. And who will we be doing all this for, I'd like to know. And it's not healthy to be asking too many questions or know too much. We get good money, and with these weapons we've got, we'll be kings. Sure, it's good money. Only a mercenary likes to know who's paying you. Hold it. Our contact just showed up. What's wrong, Metro? Patience, young man. I am phasing interference into my frequency. That should keep my colleague there from detecting my listening activity. There, that's it. And as for his record, you're lucky to get him. Very well. In two days, precisely at moonrise, a spaceship will come to pick you up. At that time. Give the signal. Go ahead. of the Great Bear. Distance, 23,377,400 light years. It is one of the most curious planets in spiral galaxy M101. Humanoid life is little evolved, chiefly based on hunting and gathering. Planet closed to all visitors. Yeah, it wouldn't be that one now. Nursing, 
small planet on the outer edge of spherical star cluster M13 in the constellation of Hercules. Cluster comprises 300,000 stars and has a diameter of 23 minutes of arc, 25,000 light years, a liquid crystal atmosphere lethal to humans. A form of life does exist, well evolved and adapted to the atmosphere. Planet closed to visitors. Loneda, in the constellation of the Triangle, medium-sized planet in spiral galaxy M33. Distance, 2 million light years. A highly elliptical orbit around its sun results in a cycle of killing cold followed by intense heat. These conditions make any highly evolved life unlikely. Planet closed to visitors. No, no, no. Surely it is not them. The sentence also says they live in caves. Surely we all agree that they are not cave dwellers. We aren't terribly sure of how they live, Pedro. He could mean in a sort of burrow or grotto. Well, it appears to have become rather pedantic, my lad. I think it's time to do a little modification on your circuits. You lack humility. Don't give me that my lad business, my lad. I am above all that. Oh, humility indeed with the example that you're always setting. He talks to me like that. He dares to. Planet Claris in star cluster NGC 752. I think we might eliminate that planet now, since our recent visit. In the spiral galaxy of Andromeda M31, 400 billion stars, planet Diane, distance 2 million light years. Atmosphere suitable for human life, primitive inhabitants under long-term observation, approximately 20,000 years required before achieving sufficiently high level to join Confederation. Looks like one of my ancestors. Well, 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 you really are old. Yes, that looks right. That's enough. I think this is it. Recording again? No great creatures, and all of them live in caves. They hunt animals with no more than sticks of wood. It would appear that once more the invasion of another planet is in preparation. The Colonel recommends using a massive force of intervention. I'm in full agreement, but for the present we have no idea who's behind it. That's an issue. Question. The investigation is underway, but whoever it is, I think we must take immediate action. And if it is a member of our Confederation, it is quite a serious matter and should be sent to the Grand Council. That's the difficult part. We are obliged to take into consideration all the many conflicting interests of all of you. It will be very Council in favor of immediate action, and the potential aggressor should know our intentions and act accordingly. Within my authority, I can maintain secrecy in all our operations of limited scope, but the Colonel wants much more. In view of your loyalty to the Confederation, I should like to have your opinions, gentlemen. Well, in my judgment, it ought to remain a police operation. And if they arrive in full force, what will we look like then? Yes, of course you're right. Then we all agree it is to be a large-scale police action. What we need is the battleship that I've been dreaming about for years. It would have been a real pleasure hitting them over the head with heavy cruisers. Now don't you worry. We'll take care of them with what we've got. Come in, gentlemen. It's all yours. This will be a surveillance defense mission. You are to protect the planet Diane from foreign invasion. The cruisers Kangaroo, Cobra, Grass Snake will take part in the operation and are placed under the orders of Captain Snellstrom. Agar and Faust. The Hummingbird is my ship. Lightship's Dragonfly and Spider, under the orders of Peter Jr. and Gross Jr., will be responsible for the close surveillance and making contact to acquire information. These are your orders. On the way to the objective, we fly in formation. Immediate departure. That's all, gentlemen. Good job. <laughs> Think so? Hyperspace speed. I've never seen anything like hyperspace. Fantastic.
returning to normal space in a few seconds. Stand by. Galaxy N31 in Andromeda. Good old dragonfly. She's really tremendous. Had major repairs, and now she's as good as new. All ships under my orders, stand by and hear this. We are entering the gravitational field of the planet Diane's sun. We will trace an elliptical orbit to escape it. Our objective is in sight. Kangaroo, Cobra, Grass Snake with me. A stationary orbit above the stratosphere. Try and find natural cover. Any deer or large rock mass. Keep as hidden as possible. Now you youngsters. Spider, close observation. Dragonfly, terrain. And remember, you are not to interfere in the lives of the inhabitants in any way. Use no weapons unless absolutely necessary. Understood? Order is understood. Now program your to the planet. We'll keep in contact. Good luck. Right there. That's where we can land the ship. Have a good flight. The inhabitants here live as our ancestors did 20,000 years ago. Well, let's have a look. We've been walking for hours and haven't met anybody yet. Yet flying over, we spotted several fires around here. Conditions aren't very conducive for supporting life. In the Cro-Magnon days, the total population was about what it is in one city. Hmm. are dead. There's no point in killing the animal. You don't mean you speak her language. No, of course not. I read her mind, that's all. His heart's still beating. That's it, fella. Away. Huh? Oh, away! Away! Apa! Away! Well, he says Apar is a mighty hunter and the worthiest of men. So his name is Apar. We know that much. Now what's he going on about? He says his father was a great chief, respected by all. The day he died was a sad one. Oh, 
이분, 이분, 아빠, 아빠, 아, 아빠, 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 In case you're a bit surprised, I talk your language. Well, I'm a sorcerer. Who can explain it? Yes, but our idiot leader thinks that I'm crazy. But don't you worry. There, it's going to be a change around here soon. I swear it. Uh, but not a word. Uh, now tell me, where exactly is it that you uh, come from? Planet Omega, two million light years distant from here. Andromeda is here. And to the east, two million light years. That's quite a walk. Right to the east. Uh, that's Scorpio. Yo, <laughs> Cancer, and Gemini. What did you learn about all that? Well, my good man, our ancestors knew a great deal. Nothing is really new. All I do is pass on the information that was passed on me by the sky beings during their visit here. I assure you, their quality of knowledge was immense. They knew how to heat minerals to render them valuable, shape all sorts of objects. They invented instruments to measure time and space. They could make words permanent in writing. And Where were they from? Where did they go? Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it. Ah, wait, wait, wait. An old legend has it that long ago, a great hope was to set the power planet and nearly everything. And one day they arrived like you from a distant planet, cut off from their own world. They settled here for a long time. Their memory was revered as if they were gods, and then in time, little by little, they were forgotten. I think I'm the last to remember it. Pretty, isn't she? Well, I'll fire it in the kiln tomorrow. Tonight, I'm too tired. I, knowing so much, what's the point? We join the sisters, grow old, and return. Way back in time, in antiquity, Plato said, "The ancient fish brought to earth by gods from outer space." The idea goes back a long time. Yes, it's true. Only there have been certain other cultures and even some religions who have always denied this myth of two-legged gods coming to infuse a new civilization. Curious, all the same. Aya, aya, yana, yana, aya. You know, I'd be happy if you would call me by my first name. Call me Peter, and you are Yana. Okay, I'm Peter. That's me, and your name's Yana. Me, Peter. <laughs> no, I'm Peter. Understand? And you are Yana. Peter, we're married. No, we're not. We're only friends. But be good, Peter. Well, one day can be married. Space? No. We, every so often, we sight a UFO, an identified flying object, as we call them. Whenever we spot one, I'm in favor of transmitting a signal, but the chief forbids it, and he implicitly, he says they must be evil spirits. Well, I don't know. There he comes, our illustrious great chief. There, that's it. You dumb twig, and you're wrong, and you're lousy predictions on the hunt. Aren't you? That's you! Yes, you know that? Help if you didn't sneeze all the time and scare away the game? Yes, Chief. How are we going to pay everybody? Huh? Tell me. Yes, Chief. Stop saying yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Hey, who killed that animal? You did? <laughs> <laughs> Standing around wasting time instead of work. Those two behind you. I don't suppose you would know them. Mm. How are they? Dear friends. Friends who come from another world. That's all a lot of bunk. You're plotting against me with that power. I know it. Men surround them. Mm. 
regardless of any difference. And you must work to achieve real progress. Then one day, you will be able to join the community of those who live in the sky. And that day will return. Prepare to attack from the rear. Here we go. Interstellar police calling. Who are you? Identify yourself in five seconds. We open fire. Four, three, two, one. They're fast. I don't think we'll be seeing them again soon. What is the precaution we sent to the space? Please, can you use the dragonfly? This is Dragonfly, this is Dragonfly. With Spider, we are rejoining formation. Nothing to report. And sometime later. Say goodbye to Daddy and have a good hunt. One day, young handsome gods came down from the sky and they were dressed in clothing made of light. Yes. Knowledge to our world, but there were no ones among us, and so. 